bad dog, uh, you better uh, move out of the middle of the street there. That's what he's going to step on you. Well, what are you lost? Come on, buddy, you got to move. Ah, here you go. There you go. Look at it. Oh. What are you, crazy? That's a stick. <laughs> Surprise. Lori, I found this dog. Wait till you see him. It's amazing. Come on. <laughs> How long has he been doing that? About an hour. Watch this. Look, behind you, a huge pile of bones. Look, look, it's, it's, it's a helpless kitten. Another dog's butt. <laughs> I even taught him a trick. Watch this. Hey, wait a second. He's got a, a tag. Oh, check it out. Maybe he's got diabetes or something. He's got an address on it. No arm. Did you even look? No, I didn't look. I found this dog abandoned in the middle of the sidewalk. 232 West 20th Street. Yes, that's exactly the address I found him. <laughs> I taught him never to budge from the front of his house. Where the hell did you find him? Not here, I'll tell you that. He was, uh, he was way down there. And then, and then over some. <laughs> Gotta put a leash on that thing, you know. He's, he's a runner. <laughs> Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. understand why you're seeing a social worker, don't you? Because you're lonely. <laughs> yeah, lonely. That's a good one. That's pretty funny there, Billy. Yeah, actually, I am lonely, Billy, but uh, <laughs> the thing is, that's not why you're here. You shoplifted. So? So it's a crime, and your foster family doesn't know what to do about it. Wait a second. You're Norm Henderson, the hockey player. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're with the Oilers. Right, right. So... Billy, you should understand, then, that just like in hockey, there are penalties and rules. Didn't that... you get arrested for uh, gambling and tax evasion? Oh, yeah. Well, that was very complicated there, Billy. Uh, you know, I didn't get the forms at the right address. You cheated and got kicked out of hockey for life. Why should I listen to you? Well, for one thing, you don't want to do five years of community service as a damn social worker, that's why. <laughs> I may have gambled on the sport I was involved in and then avoided paying taxes on that gambling, but you stole, all right? You stole a, uh, a comb. <laughs> stole a comb? All right, well, you can go then. You come back when you stab somebody, all right, Billy? <laughs> hey, hey, what the hell are you doing there, ass face? Oh, my God, did I say that? And then Mr. Curtis, sir. <laughs> See, you're saying it so often, you got me saying it to the guy now. Norm, you realize the day I get sick of your nonsense is the day you go to prison. Oh, sir, what? I'm doing my job here. Well, it's been, what, six months? Let's review your accomplishments. And we're done. <laughs> well, hold on, sir. Wait a minute here. Wasn't there, there was the, uh... Okay, I'm done, too. <laughs> What's this? Uh, a uh, client sent that to me, sir. Well, you realize you can't have this on your desk in this office. Well, that's ridiculous. It's a cross. Oh, yeah. The thing is, Danny, uh, there are a lot of Christians that work here, and uh, their savior was actually nailed to a cross. <laughs> Hello, boys. Are we ready to help people? You're our favorite governess, Mary Poppins. <laughs> so, Norm, did you tell Danny about how you kidnapped that dog? Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get a dog of my own, you know? I love the idea of having a friend that I can lock up when I'm not using him. No, no, no. You, you don't want a dog, man. You don't want a dog. I mean, you know I'm scared of dogs. They bite me. Oh, well, you gotta understand, you know, dogs uh, use their mouth because they have no hands. What they want to do is punch you. No, but 
you want to do, Norm? You should go down to the pound and get a dog. Uh, yeah, aren't those dogs used? Uh, I have my heart set on a new dog, you know? What is the matter? I mean, just because it's had a couple of relationships, suddenly it's used. I don't think we're talking about the dog anymore. Yes, we are. We are talking about a living, caring thing that has been treated unkindly and needs to find a warm and loving home. Now we're not talking about the dog anymore. Okay, people, I've got today's assignment sheet. Well, Norm, got some news about one of your cases. A certain young lady named Taylor Clayton. Oh, well, there you go, sir. There's an accomplishment. I got that kid off the street and I got her a job. She's working in a massage parlor. <laughs> what? I, I got her a great job at a pizza place. Well, did you ever call the pizza place to find out how she was doing? Yeah, I called her tons of times. She was never even there. <laughs> You know, I can never tell if you're joking or you're just stupid. Well, I try to mix it up, sir. You know. I want you to go down there and get her out of there right now, okay? And make it look appropriate by taking somebody with you. It is a massage parlor. Oh, oh, oh please, please, me! I mean, I, I really enjoy field work. I haven't had field work in, like, six months. All right, well, you blew it. Come on, Lori. Oh, no, not, not a massage parlor, oh, sir. Lori. No, don't. Damn it. I wore my good shoes. <laughs> look at that woman. This is so sad. Which one? <laughs> I was looking at that one. She's sad, too, but maybe not as sad as the one you're looking at. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. Now, how are we going to get to Taylor? Because we can't say that we're social workers. Oh, yeah. No, don't worry. I've given this a lot of thought. Come on. Hi, uh, is uh, Taylor Clayton working? Yeah, what can we do for you? Well, me and the wife, we're kind of swingers, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, she likes to watch. Oh, can we just uh, do this, please? Uh, see how eager she is there? <laughs> Norm, what are you doing here? They want a massage, Taylor. They do. So how much is one of these? For a couple, it's a hundred bucks. I, I only got thirty dollars here. Oh, I know. I'll go through my wife's purse. You know, he's really not even very good. Can I watch somebody else? <laughs> Look, I appreciate you getting me the job at the pizza place, Norm, but I couldn't work there anymore. There was this guy there, and he used to hit on me. Yeah, I can see how that'd be annoying. That'd be like somebody coming in here and demanding pizza. I've just never been in a place like this before. So guys come in here and you just uh, do it. Yeah, hey, you gotta forgive my colleague. She's not really familiar with the intercourse-related industries. Well, well, I do know one thing, young lady. You're violating probation. You could go to jail. I know that, but this is the only place I can make this kind of money. At least until I'm old enough to strip. That must have been some career day in your high school, huh? Can I see you in the hallway for just a We're just going to be one second. OK, I was your social worker, so you're just going to have to trust me. As we've been through many times before, the client can only develop a trust when the social workers work together to present a consistent point of view. So shut up. <laughs> yeah, that was unrelated stuff, but she's going to talk now. <laughs> so, Taylor, I just want you to know that you can do better than this. It's so easy to use the body and it's very hard to use the brain <laughs> and what do you know she knows a lot not as much as you you know about certain things but uh, but a hell of a lot more than you when it comes to things men don't care about I'll tell you that <laughs> look I'm doing fine here now yes maybe but what about the future there is nothing sadder than a 70 year old prostitute <laughs> except maybe her customers <laughs> Yeah, you, you don't want to be taking your teeth out 20, 30 times a day. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? I'm agreeing with you. And look, believe me, I know right from wrong. <laughs>
No, I don't think you do. Look, I'm going to give you a test, all right? Now, this is kind of tricky. Stay with me, okay? You steal a loaf of bread, right or wrong? Wrong. Okay, you steal a loaf of bread, but you give it to a starving person, right or wrong? Still wrong. Okay, a guy in a bread truck wants to have sex with you in exchange for cash. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What are you reading? No, it's not a book on dogs, is it? Yeah, I'm looking for one that likes to eat bald guys. <laughs> you know, I also have asthma. Maybe you can get a dog that smokes. Hi, guys. Hey. So, Norm, plan A with Taylor didn't work out, so what do you got in mind for plan B? Oh, uh, well, you know, I was gonna do nothing, but I thought I'd be too lazy, so I'm gonna get drunk. <laughs> Give up. She's your case. What? Well, I like the kid, but you know, if she doesn't want to get help, you can't help her. I lost one, so what? <laughs> you know what, Norm? You're right. Losing's not so bad. It's just like all those hockey games you lost. You're used to it. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't lose those hockey games. No, you lost all the ones I saw. <laughs> okay, let me get something straight for you guys, all right? I was a great hockey player. I was only a bad hockey player compared to other professional hockey players. Ah, <laughs> Maury! Glad I bumped into you. Good job getting the Larson boy played. Oh, thank you, sir. And Danny, thanks for finding the money for the new senior transportation program. Drinking your lunch again, Norm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, sir, no, sir. Just one beer to help sharpen the senses and help me care somewhat about people. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, how did it go getting Miss Clayton out of the massage parlor? Oh, uh, not so good, sir. Uh, but it's not a massage parlor the way you think of as a massage parlor. So, she doesn't have sex with the customers? Well, is that what you think? Well, then it is a massage parlor. <laughs> All right, look, now I want that young woman out of that place, and I want it done now. And if you don't, I'm telling your probation officer that your community service is a failure, and you're going to prison. Fine, but when I break out of prison, I'm coming after you, Curtis. <laughs> Not really. I'll probably just get drunk, try to find a bride. Norm, I couldn't sleep at all last night. We've got to get you out of this mess. Danny, get over here. We've got to figure out a way to keep Norm from going to prison. Well, way ahead of you. Okay, here's what we do. I go down to the massage parlor. Pretend I'm a client, uh -huh. all right? <laughs> then I get a massage. And then what? Well, instead of paying the young lady, I leave the pamphlet, is this really what you want for your life? <laughs> Look, I appreciate you guys, you know, trying to help and everything, but I had a long talk with Taylor last night, and I have a feeling things are gonna work out. Oh, Norm, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Norm. Norm, I'm so glad you're here. You'll never guess what happened. I quit the massage parlor and I got a job as a weather girl. And I'm going back to school. Oh, great enthusiasm, Taylor. But this isn't my boss. And uh, also, you, you might want to change... You might want to change weather girl to uh, fry cook. <laughs> We're scamming Curtis and I'm in on it. <laughs> no, you're not. Beat it, Weevil. Norm! Norm, I'm so glad you're here. You'll never guess what happened. What? Well, I quit the massage parlor and I got a job as a fry cook. <laughs> and I'm going back to school. You're kidding. That's fantastic. What? Oh, sir. Uh, oh, this is uh, Taylor Clayton, sir. Ex-massage parlor worker, now a fry cook. <laughs> well, congratulations. You must feel good about yourself. Oh, I do. Not as good as if I'd become a weather girl. <laughs> Weather girl. Okay, well, you go then, Taylor. And uh, remember, you never have to return. You're cured. Well, I never thought I'd say this, Norm, but um, good job. Oh. What are you watching? Oh, uh, it's one of those phone in polls on CNN. You call in, it's like a buck fifty to vote. So far, 12% have paid a dollar and a half to say, I don't know. <laughs> on his belly. Oh, he wants to show you his new trick. Check this out. Go get the dust bunnies, wiener dog. Go get them. <laughs> Come on, 
and Danny are being silly. Listen, I'll get rid of the dog. Can you get him in here? Tell me. Danny, being come in. Come on, the dog is gone. Where is he? He's in the other room. He wants you to feel comfortable, so he's changing into his cat costume. <laughs> All right, Danny, you can relax. I put the dog in the bathroom. That's so mean. No, I got him a magazine. Oh. <laughs> I'm warm. It was just so cool the way you pulled it off with Taylor today. I know. I almost believed it. <laughs> believed what? need to talk to Norm alone. No, no way. I am not leaving my friend Norm when he is on a spot. No. I mean, I feel responsible for this. I mean, I gotta be here for him, you know? I mean, what kind of a guy would I be if I just walked out? I mean, how can I look myself and say, no? All right, I paid her to come in and pretend she had a job. But I had no choice. I didn't want to go to prison. What would you do? I'll tell you what I would do. I would take somebody who screwed up and I would do everything in my power to save their miserable butts. Just like I've been trying to do with you. Well, that's another way to go. <laughs> you know, I still happen to think that my job is important, even though to you it's just one big joke. But by letting her stay there, you are ruining the rest of her life. Oh, Lori, that's not what I was And don't worry. I'm not going to tell on you. I am just so disappointed in you. Norm, you're just the most selfish man on it. Everything you do is to make your own life easier. And you, and you even make your little dog dust. <laughs> hey, Taylor. Norm, what are you doing here? Look, uh, that, that whole making you lie thing was wrong. And uh, I think I just screwed you up, more. I've been feeling pretty bad, but I, but I think I got a way to fix it. Check this out. You know how you were worried that you weren't qualified for a legitimate job that pays this kind of money? Well, I opened the paper today, and I found something great. Here, read this. Models wanted no experience necessary. <laughs> Norm, this is an ad for hookers. What? Oh, man. I, I ordered choice cuts of beef from this ad over here. I'm gonna get a young boy, aren't I? <laughs> Anyway, isn't your boss off your back? Look, uh, Taylor, uh, how about we get you into a group home, you know? That way, you'll be with uh, women like yourself, you know? Uh, look, look, here's a picture of an ex-prostitute here. See how happy she looks picking an apple off a tree there? I'm not interested. Oh, well, well there's other ones. Uh, oh, here's a good program. Uh, oh, oh, you don't do heroin, do you? It's too bad. That was a good one, too, there. Norm, you're wasting your time here, all right? I'm not leaving, so unless you want something else for your 50 bucks other than just bad attitude, you really ought to go. Look, Taylor, I don't think you understand. You're a huge whore. <laughs> Look, I didn't want to have to do this, but I can have you busted and force you into one of these programs for your own good if that's what it takes. Fine. You do that. And I'll tell your boss that you paid me to lie. Then you'll go to jail. You can't use that against me, Taylor. Uh, that'd be a violation of the, uh, what do you call, uh, you know, prostitute social worker privilege. I swear I'll do it. All right, fine. Fine. I'll go to jail. But let me tell you something, young lady. You're gonna have to give me a few pointers on how to please a man, I'll tell you that. <laughs> So did uh, Curtis call you? Now, I don't even know if Taylor filed a report yet, but they carted her off to that apple farm last night, so it's just a matter of time. Norm, I want to see you in my office immediately. Well, that's it. It's over. Yeah, look at that Curtis. Huh? He loves it. Well, I got nothing to lose. I'm going to prison anyway. Hello, Mrs. Curtis. This is going to be hard for you to hear, ma'am, but your husband is cheating on you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, honey. Can you put your mommy on the phone? Norm, I heard what you did about Taylor, and I'm very proud of you, and I think you did the right thing. Yeah, well, the trouble with doing the right thing is you end up going to jail. Well, you're not going to jail. Yes, I am. Taylor filed a report and she sent it to Curtis. You mean this report that the clerk accidentally gave to me for $200?
Yeah, that's the one. Cut! I'm not going to jail. No, well, I'm sure you're gonna go to jail eventually, but not for this. Uh, look, thanks a lot, Laura. Uh, okay. Hold down the fort. I got big problems at home. So, Norm, you hear from Taylor? Oh, yeah, she's doing great. She sent me a card thanking me. And she should, too, man. That place has got Olympic-sized swimming pools. It's got tennis courts. And wall-to-wall prostitutes. <laughs> oh, here's the pizza. Coming. Oh, hey, can I help you? You've got my dog. What are you talking about? I got him from the pound. Hey, I'm the one that took him there. Now, the wife's on my back about dropping the rat off at the pound. I need him back. Yeah. Give him the dog. No, I love this dog. Plus, this guy probably beats him. Just give me the dog, OK? No, you gave him up. He's my dog now. Hey, you can't take my dog. Oh, really, huh? We're social workers, pal. We can take children. 